of you were forced to clean your plate as a kid. All right. Was it because there are starving children in Ethiopia or all over the world? Does it help the starving children of the world for us to stuff ourselves? <laughs> we continue that cycle. And we want our kids, you need to clean your plate before you can get up, go outside and play. I've had years of clients coming into me, and many of them were raised that way, and so they're not in tune with their own hunger and satiety. They don't know when to stop eating. And what can happen when you don't stop eating? This. <laughs> you just feel stuffed. So the key is stop eating when you're satisfied. That right there again can prevent you from overeating. Because if you save 300 to 400 calories, again, that's going to help you to lose weight, to become in a calorie deficit. 54% of Americans aim to clean their plate. So right now, I am giving you all permission to leave food on your plate. Leave food on your plate. I've given you the permission to do it. How many people drink Maybe one of these a day, a soda a day. Regular. No one? Or you can just, okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, and I bet there's a few others in here. They just don't want to raise their hands. Okay, does anyone in here have kids that drink soda? Okay, so you can see how much they drink, how much sugar they're drinking. All right. You can count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's just for one can, and that's 20 ounces. Eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This much in here. So, they're, te they're teaspoons. Those are teaspoons. So, anyone that wants to see how much soda, how much sugar they or their kid, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> <laughs> this is how much it is. Would anyone give this to their kid and say, eat some out of the sugar bowl, honey? <laughs> now, I know no one in here drinks alcohol, but just in case you drink alcohol, you can quickly, these can quickly add up. Uh, and it's important just to count those in your total calorie budget. I like to talk about budgeting your calories. Uh, just like other people talk about budgeting your money. And it's also about negotiation. So if you really want a glass of wine with dinner, that's okay. But you have to think, then maybe I need to have split my entree with someone, or I'm not going to have dessert. It's, it's trying to figure out what's most important to you. Now, I wouldn't say having eight beers is more important than eating dinner. <laughs> So we need some common sense here, too. <laughs> but I, like I mentioned, it, this should be an enjoyable part of life. Mental nutrition. This is one thing that I am really passionate about. Because just how we feed our body, we also need to feed our mind. All right? So often we're thinking of what are we feeding our bodies with, but is your mind malnourished? <laughs> And the way I mean that is, what are you feeding it with? Now, I don't know how, how many people in here have either been pregnant or maybe helped someone get pregnant. <laughs> OK, most <must be> people. <laughs> OK, well, that person who is pregnant, that person who is pregnant, do you remember anything called mush brain or like you can't remember anything? And then sometimes it really doesn't go away. It improves slightly, but then you're just at a whole nother level so far. I actually went to the doctor about mush brain because I was like, doctor, I can't remember studies how I used to remember them. What is going on? And he actually did tell me 
It's the norepinephrine levels. Norepinephrine is your focus factor. And norepinephrine levels go down when we're pregnant. And I just have figured out mine never quite went back up. But what I'd like you to think about today is this is a quote by Jim Rome. He says, the only thing worse than not reading a book in the last 90 days is not reading a book and thinking it doesn't matter. Now, how many of you are currently reading a book? Yay, because I, I have the best group here. So you're probably trying to knock this into everyone's head as well. We've got to talk exercise because we know this is very important. We found that work, in workplaces, those companies that establish wellness programs can actually reduce healthcare costs by 20 to 50%, increase productivity by 2 to 52%, and actually decrease short-term sick leave by 6 to 32%. Okay, let me tell you, if you're wanting to get your abs in shape, and if you have layers of fat between your muscles and the outside, then you first, to see those abs, you gotta get rid of the fat. You could do 2,000 crunches a day and you still aren't gonna see those muscles. So it's still exercise and nutrition hand in hand. But I'm gonna tell you a, an exercise you guys can all do. Just sit up there. Okay, squeeze your abs right now. Squeeze it, may, contract your abs like you're pulling your belly button through your back. Can anyone feel that? By just squeezing it and contracting your abs? Or can you, do you have awareness of that? Okay, if you don't have awareness and you can't feel it, it probably means that you need to be doing this more. <laughs> now these, these are 10 pound weights, but you could do like five or seven, and you could do simple exercises like this for your biceps. If anyone sees the red on here, my mom bought these for me for my birthday like 10 years ago. Thought they needed a little color, so that's fingernail polish. <laughs> she thought they were boring. Gotta love your mom, right? <laughs> Smoking cessation is obviously a big one. Smoking is the single number one cause of death, preventable, death in America. 25% of Americans smoke, and it leads to about $100 billion in costs every um, year. And I, will, I want to share something with you guys. I don't hate anything in life, but I hate cigarettes. I hate cigarettes. It's the only thing I hate, because I, I don't like that word hate. It's such a bad word, but I hate cigarettes. I grew up in a family with two smokers. And my parents love, I, I'm, my brother and I were both adopted at birth. We have different birth parents. So I know my parents wanted me so bad because if you adopt a kid, you have to do a lot and really want it. So I know I was very wanted. My parents would do anything for me. In fact, when I was 16, I had the master bedroom and bathroom. We lived in an apartment, but my parents gave me the master. My kids wouldn't, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but they did it but they couldn't give up cigarettes. My mom was diagnosed with lung cancer. Once we went up to Mayo, they told us the day before she was supposed to have the surgery on her pituitary adenoma, so in the brain, it was gonna be brain surgery by a neurosurgeon. They saw something on the CT scan. Well, it came back as, bi they then did a biopsy, found out it was lung cancer. And as I'm going up to the Mayo Clinic, going out to get my car to pull around her to get her, and to take her home, because now we're not doing that surgery, there's no reason. And I walk across, and all these people at the Mayo Medical Center in Rochester, all the smokers are on the other side of the street, because they can't smoke on Mayo property. And all I wanted to say is don't do it if you want to see your grandkids. Don't do it. This is my reason, you guys, for trying to do just a little bit every day. I, the one in the middle, I found I was pregnant with her five days after my mother's funeral. So I want to try to be there for my kids, my grandkids, and great-grandkids, maybe. <laughs> I believe that each one of you has the power in yourself to do just a little bit every day to reach your true potential, but think of your reason why you want to do that. And the most exciting part of, with this group is you have the opportunity to affect the lives of other people. 
And I know personally the first time I was doing an internship in New York City at the NBC Health and Fitness Center, I helped someone lose like five pounds. And the joy that was in her, and I felt it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta do something where I'm helping people. And like Ron was talking about, that's, that's what you guys enjoy doing, is helping people. And you guys have the power to be, to be the star of the show and really help the people that you work with and change their lives. Thank you.